Ms. Lee, this is here to answer your question in regard to the Screwmate. Uh, let me show you what I found. The thing about Screwmate is it uh, gives you an opportunity not only to create a concentric relationship between curved surfaces, but it also gives you translational uh, capabilities too, as you would anticipate. But the only thing it involves are just like two choices. It's just like a, a concentric relationship. What you want to do is line up your axes, either you know this temporary axis that you have uh, highlighted here, maybe the temporary axis of the you know where you're going to make that concentric relationship. That's where you want to make these uh, uh, relations here. You can also do the same thing by selecting these surfaces too. You can do, the, do it that way. So let's look at your screw mate and see uh, see what went wrong there. Now one thing about the concentric mate, if you did a, a concentric mate uh, in regard to uh, you know the screw up here and a hole that it goes into, is that uh, it won't allow that uh, with a uh, with a screw mate too. It kind of overdefines assembly. So screw mate exclusively it does the concentric mate. Plus, it gives you the translation of all of that, too. And it only involves two choices here. So if we right-click on this and unsuppress it, what we have in here are probably uh, two items that aren't uh, really selected correctly. So let's go into that and uh, see what they are. So you have uh, access one of the sliding jaw, which is this uh, you know, the component here, and the access uh, two of the, of, the, of the vise, of the screw vise. So what you really want to do we're going to go ahead and delete this one of the sliding jaw. We're going to delete that one. And what we want to do is pick up this, uh, you know, the axis that defines, uh, you know, the axis of this hole here, or we can select this surface down here. So this is a little bit easier to select just because the axes are kind of stacked on top of each other. But if we could select on that surface, and then green check mark, green check mark over here, now it should work. Now that turns around. Uh, the device that goes inside of this, uh, the Titan handle, isn't there anymore, but uh, you can still see that it works. So if you rotate this around, it does have translation to it. And if you do translation here, it uh, provides a rotation over there. So that works out pretty well. So you just have to remember, it's just like a, a concentric relationship. It just involves the components, the cylindrical component over here, to the cylindrical face over here. And that should solve your uh, screwmate problem. So, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in class.